So I rode my bike to go uh, get my oil changed. Um, <clears throat> this morning I didn't have work, I wasn't feeling well. So I put my bike in my car, rode, uh, drove my car like a mile away from my house to the auto shop. Got the auto shop and I took my bike out and I rode back and I'm riding back. So not a bad day. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out a way. Ideally, I like to bike to work every day, and it would take me about an hour and a half each day, going to and from. So, be three hours of biking a day. <clears throat> but the way I'm thinking is, it takes me 30 minutes to get to work every day by car. Plus, it would take me an hour to work out. Ideally, right? So I just have to wake up uh, an hour and a half. I'd actually basically 30 minutes earlier than I usually would. Or leave 30 minutes earlier than I usually would. Or whatever. And uh, come back. Same thing. Um, it takes me about an hour to get home from work anyway. So 30 minutes there to drive and an hour, 30, 45 to an hour back. <clears throat> So that's anywhere from an hour 15 to an hour and a half. All right. Uh, no, no, anywhere from an hour 15, I apologize to, uh, <laughs> I can't do math. Yeah, it's basically from an hour 15 to an hour and a half of total traffic time. No, be, no, sorry, I can't do math. 30 minutes there driving, 30 to 45 there, versus 45 to an hour. So 30 plus 45, 75 minutes, or there and back is an hour. <clears throat> so, plus an hour working out. Best case scenario, I'm saving about 30 minutes of total, uh, of total uh, time in my life, but I can spend 30 minutes. What is that 30 minutes giving me? 30 minutes is giving me more time, uh, more money in my pocket because I'm not paying for gas. So, because the money I'm saving on gas beats the amount of time I get. So basically, $20 a week for me biking my car to my, it's not bad.